Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we are going to review Witchblood VR, a game released on the Oculus Store June 8th, 2017 by developer Hidden Path Entertainment. It is available for the Oculus Rift, but I can confirm it works perfectly fine on the Oculus Quest 2 using Xbox One controller. Now you can use your motion controllers as a gamepad, however I would just recommend using a gamepad. Witchblood retails now for $8. When I bought it, it was on on sale 50% off but you're unlikely to ever see a sale again on the Oculus Rift store. Witchblood VR is a 180 degree frontal view VR experience. It is an action platformer or a metroidvania. The game took me approximately four hours to complete and I did play it on normal difficulty. There are very few settings in this game. The settings are for sound or language only. I recommend playing this game seated and you can recenter your view with a button press. The game is running on the Unreal Engine. On my RTX 3080, I was getting steady 90 frames per second. I did not experience any serious issues or bugs during my playthrough. So what are my thoughts on Witchblood VR? Well, I do have mixed feelings about this game. Obviously, this game is from 2017, so it is quite dated now, especially compared to modern VR experiences. We don't really have experiences anymore that are 180 degree frontal experiences only and we don't really have experiences that don't really use motion controllers. I personally think that is to the detriment of VR and one thing that has really held VR back is the consumer expectations of a full room scale experience or use of motion controllers for their VR experiences. Developers do not want to work on a port for VR that isn't fully translated to using motion controllers controllers because they just don't sell well. The market does not want these types of experiences that are 180 VR experiences and that use a gamepad and I think that's very sad because to this day my favorite experience in VR is still Hellblade Senua Sacrifice and I think that game does show the potential of a game that is not fully VR but translates the game into VR to still make it a very immersive experience experience even without the use of motion controllers. Witchblood in a way is an experimental experience. It's not fully VR and I'm not sure the developer here really translated their game well into VR. It does play awfully like a 2D game that was just made VR but doesn't really stand out in any way in VR. I didn't really find this game to be an immersive VR experience. However, it is one of the better third person action platformers or metroidvanias in VR and definitely back in 2017 this was one of the better experiences especially for the money for only eight dollars or the four dollars I paid this was a great deal and a pretty good game to play the biggest problem with Witchblood VR is that there are 2d action platformers metroidvanias that are much better better than Witchblood VR. It's not even close. So when you compare it to VR games, it's still one of the better ones, but when you compare it to non-VR, it's really lacking in depth to the gameplay, in smoothness to the gameplay. This game really feels almost like a web game or a mobile game. The quality here for an action platformer is not very high. The VR here is just not used in a creative way, and on top of that, there's just not much of a story either. The artwork and the music here also really don't stand out when you compare it to the top action platformers in non-VR. So on the one hand, we have a game here that's from 2017, but it's still one of the best third person action platformers for VR. But when you compare it to non-VR action platformers, it's not very good. So as a VR game reviewer, I do have a tough time scoring this game, but I decided just to give it a six out of 10. I think it is reasonably priced at $8 for a VR experience. It's still one of the top VR action platformers. It's just kind of dated now, especially when compared to non-VR. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. If you enjoyed my review, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a wonderful day and enjoy the rest of the video.
Halloween. And witches are real too? Jump so much higher now. I feel like I can attack faster now. 